Hi, I'm Rachel, the Indecisive Wing Wear. Welcome to my channel. Today, we'll be reviewing Night by Ellen Villa, which is part of the 2019 Changes Collection. And this fun, slightly wavy, layered little bob with soft side swift bangs is in the color tobacco black. Now, the description of this wig says it has a mini lace front, which is located right here where these bangs part. And it also has a monofilament crown. Now we're gonna talk more about this when I take the cap off and we look at the inside. Let's take a look at the inside of that cap. Now, this is their micro mini lace front in the Changes collection. That's going to appear where that little side, uh, side swept bang parts. Now, it's there to add some realism. But let me give you some perspective of the size of this. It is about two and a half inches wide. And at the widest point from front to back, it's only about a half an inch deep. Now, there is felt lining, which adds comfort. There are the felt covered ear tabs with the metal stays. Velcro fasteners. Felt covered extended night. I did want to show you their stretch in this cap. Now, if I did not wear wig grip with her, I would be taking those adjusters in. But ladies with, uh, with the smaller circumference, that wig grip, that velvet type wig, wig grip does help uh, take up a little bit more room in that cap. So I do like to wear one for the security and the added um, room that it does take up. And I also wanted to show you the permatees. You can see it in the part. And what I do to help disguise that is I don't part it so perfectly, but it is there. Now the reason I wanted not is because I was hoping for a sister wig to my Sunset by Ellen Villa in the same color and part of uh, the Changes collection also. As it turns out, she's really more of a sister wig to my Houston by Dreams USA, which I do have a review on if you would like to check that one out. This color, tobacco lighted, is described as having a warm, medium brown base with light golden blonde highlights and light auburn lowlights. It is a beautiful color, but I'm going and I'm going to drop some pictures of her in indirect lighting. But I also want to drop pictures of the two colors in comparison. To the two wigs, sunset and night, and let you see the difference. Now this fit is a true petite average. I was asked recently if I thought she would fit a 22 inch head circumference with 11 inch ear to ear. Now that's just a tiny bit smaller than mine. I'm, I'm between 11 and a quarter and a, a 11 and a half. Depends on where you measure on the head. But I also wear glasses so that adds a little bit of complication. Now, I would say yes. 
I looked on Ella Villa's website and it says this will fit up, up to, to a 56 centimeter circumference, which is a little over 22 inches. So I would say yes. Now, what did I think of this wig out of the box? Well, let me tell you, there's not a big difference. And I will drop the picture of me wearing this right out of the box for you to see. Now, what I did observe when I put her on was there were there was just like a little strands of hair that were shorter than the rest of the bangs. And all I did to fix that was I slightly altered the part a little bit and swept them over. They blended in, no problem. But there's also, and I have not fixed this yet because I wanted y'all to see what this looked like. You can see how straight mine is. Um, there is a strand of hair that is like in the midst of these bangs and it's hard to really do anything with them. I'll probably end up trimming those a little bit. So for now, I just work her into the side. Now, that brings me to the next subject of how two of the same style can look so different. Denise Sheets, who you may know, who is also known as Haywig's sister, graciously agreed to let me do a photo side-by-side -side comparison of two different wig viewers wearing the same wig, albeit they are different colors. Her wig has more wave in it than mine does, a lot more. It is so pretty. Now, I like this one, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying, I'd love to have her waves, and I cannot wait to try Aesthetica Sea Salt spray to see if to see if that spray will help me with some definition and to hold some wave in it. But for now, this is what I have, and I will drop that picture of Denise and I side by side so you can see it. I was so happy when Denise Sheets, also known as Hey Wig Sister, agreed to do a side-by-side -side comparison of this wig. We both agreed this would be a great wig for our new wig wearers to see what a big difference there could be in the same wig. Thank you so much, Denise. Now, if you don't know Denise, which I'm sure you do, she's a wonderful wig reviewer with a really big heart and a sweet sister in Christ. I'll put her links under the video description. As you can clearly see, there is a big difference in the wave and body in Denise's wig than in mine. Mine basically looks like a slightly layered bob with some body, almost like someone blew it out with a large round barrel brush. I may have to add some wave in with steam later on. Also, I thought it would be a really good for those new to wig community to see how different a style can look and fit two different reviewers. Firstly, as you can see here, wavy or curly styles are not going to be exactly the same. Second, everyone's head shape, head size, face, width, length, Bone structure, ear-to-ear -ear measurement are all going to affect the way it looks and fits on you. My recommendation before making your final decision on a style is to narrow it down to two to three reviewers who have similar head circumference and face shape and size. Also, look for reviewers who include pictures out of the box as well as style. There are also some really good private groups out there that you can join and the ladies are great to post pictures of themselves wearing styles. You can also ask to see certain styles and certain colors and the ladies there are wonderful to post pictures. This is a big help to new wig wearers and I think it would help narrow down some of the mistakes we have all made in making our final selections. I had mentioned Aesthetica Sea Salt Spray, and I do want to say that I did a comparison of Aesthetica's 
versus Kenra's number six platinum texturizing spray. And what I found is that if you take that Kenra and spray it on your wig, you're going to be end up mopping your floor because it leaves a sticky mess. It also does have a little bit firmer hold hence stiffer hair. So it's dependent on what you want. If you like a stiffer fix to your hair, take it outside and spray it or spray it over the sink. Don't spray it over your floor like I did. Aestheticus does not leave a sticky uh, mess behind. really appreciate your watching today. It was my pleasure to bring you this review. I hope it helps someone and God bless. Y'all have a wonderful day.